to BSP Embed. Today, I am going to show you a project on IoT Energy Meter. The Internet of Things Energy Meter is a device fixed on top of the regular household power meters that provide a detailed information about the electricity usage. Modern power meters have a LED blinking every time a watt tower is used. The IEM detects these pulses using interrupt, counts them, then the data is stored to the cloud. Let's see the functional block diagram. It consists of a microcontroller with built-in Wi-Fi interface, a energy meter which provides the energy being consumed, current sensor for detecting a power theft and an organic LED for displaying the power and the load is controlled through the driver. Let's get these modules before proceeding further. See the circuit diagram, it consists of a ESP8266-12E Wi-Fi module. It operates at 3.3 volts power. It can be programmed through a serial port. A energy meter is connected to the controller through a optocoupler MCT2E. A current sensor ACS712 is connected to the analog input through a potential divider network since the maximum voltage to the ADC input is 1 volts. A organic LED display is connected to the controller through a I2C interface and a load is driven from a track BT136 and controlled from the opto track MOC3021 which provides isolation from a load to the controller. Input port of the system is 230 volts which is converted to 5 volts using a SMPS and regulated to 3.3 volts using LM3117 regulator. Let's build the hardware. Let's do some basic testing. Initially, display was not initialized. After replacing the other one, the Adafruit logo appears. Let's clean up the board. Let's do initial setup. First thing was getting an API key from a Thinkspeak. Log in to thinkspeak.com. Click on the sign up if you are not created the account. Otherwise, click on login. Enter the login ID and the password. Now, create a new channel. Enter the name of the channel Energy Meter. Enter the description about your channel. Enter the field 1 as units and enable the field 2 and enter theft data. Rest of the fields are optional. Save the channel. Now the channel is created with the API key. Go to the API tab. There you can get a right API key. Let's see the sketch. As the power is applied to the controller, setup function will be called where all the GPIOs are initialized and the serial port is initialized for a system debug. Interrupt is attached for a pulse pin from the energy meter followed by initializing a organic LED. Then connect AP function will be called where the module will try to connect previously configured Wi-Fi router. If it fails, the configuration manager will be displayed where you can enter the new SSID and the password. Then the load will be turned on. In the loop function, if the interrupt is occurred, the power units will be incremented and display over the LED. At the end of the day, the units consumed will be uploaded to the cloud. Then the power consumed will be measured to detect the power theft, make sure to enter your ThinkSpeak API key before compiling the sketch. And the sketch is written in Arduino IDE 1.6.12. Let's hack the energy meter. So, so, so.
wiring for a bypass switch, three pin socket, and a power to the board. Let's find out the suitable enclosure. Secure a DB9 connector connecting the wires to the board. Before closing the unit, testing it once again. Applying the hot glue to the solder wires. Secure the board with M3 screws. Secure the current sensor with a hot glue. Finally, our IoT energy meter is ready. Let's power on. Once the power is applied to the controller, it will connect to the Wi-Fi router using the SSID and the password stored in the module. After the connection is established, the load will be turned on. As the power is consumed, the Caleb LED produces a pulse which is read by the module as a 1 kilowatt hour and display over the LED. For sake of a demo, each pulse is considered as 1 kilowatt hour. At the end of the day, data will be uploaded to the cloud. Let's log into the ThinkSpeak. And we can see the data. These are the real-time data received from our IoT energy meter. For the sake of the demo, the frequency upload is set to 1 minute. Let's see the theft detecting feature. Let's switch to theft mode. The energy meter is bypassed by connecting input to the output. So the Caleb LED will no longer produce a pulse even though we consumed power. The controller will detect the load by measuring the current through the sensor. If the pulse is not detected within the threshold time, it means there is a power theft. After 10 seconds, the load will be turned off. Simultaneously, the theft data will be uploaded to the cloud. Circuitogram sketch and other details are available in the description. If you have any doubts in the project, leave them in the comment section below. Guys, in the previous episode, we ran the contest and the winner of the contest is Chand Basha. Congratulations to you. We'll get in touch with you shortly. Guys, recently I have crossed 1000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. In order to acknowledge that, I am giving 5 serial to Wi-Fi module. Just leave a comment about my channel. What you like, what you don't like and what projects you want to see. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like, please thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Until then, don't forget to keep learning.